buddy, it's Johnson8312, the biggest boss on YouTube. Bring you guys an NBA 2K13 My Career Gameplay featuring my athletic shooting guard, Kyle Watson, as we start the game off with a one-hand dunk, getting past Demond Shumper, who's a really good defender. But you see, I hit him with the hesitation move, got past him, got the one-hand tomahawk. But then the next play, they called me a nice little screen, get a three-pointer, got it, trying to stay close in this game. But look at this right here, off the half-court set, they get an alley-oop. What is going on? My team was playing terribly to start the game off. I tried to backpack him as best as I could, hitting the brow for a nice little layup. He misses it, but I get a nice put-back dunk, cleaning up my team's messes. Like I said, I don't know what happened in the first quarter. It took him a while to get warmed up, but uh, yeah, I was trying to backpack him and try to do my best. As you see, we're down by 13, a near steal, but they recover, pass it to me on the fast break. I go up with the one-hand dunk and get the foul. My motto is don't jump unless you want to be put on a poster. Look how far he cocked the ball back, pause, got the one-hand dunk on him. And like I said, again, that was on Amon Shumpert, who's a really good defender. But I go to the free throw line, turn that two to three. Trying to stay close in this game because I didn't want it to go too far out of hand. We get another fast break opportunity. Off the glass, I get the nice layup. Could have got the dunk, but I was tired. My coach played me a lot of minutes in the first quarter. But now we got J.R. Smith on the three-point line. I go with a nice behind-the-back move. I'm telling you, if I could shake Amon Shumpert, I definitely could shake J.R. Smith. But you see the one-on-three situation. Doesn't matter. I still get to the basket and get the one-hand dunk. Carmelo Anthony wanted to be put on the poster. That's the only reason he jumped. And I really enjoy the signature skills in this game. It definitely helps to personalize your my player. So my hat goes off to 2K for that. Bringing in signature skills is definitely something that needs to be done. As I get a nice two-hand dunk on Tyson Chandler. Don't understand why these guys are jumping. But you see the Brown and Watson getting excited. When we fast forward to the fourth quarter for time purposes. I see Eric Gordon wide open for the three. He gets that one. Making that a two-point game. And then the next play we come down. I call for the ISO. I see Melo on me. Melo doesn't play really good defense. I don't know why he was going for a charge or whatever he was trying to do. He just folded up, and I got right past him. Got a nice dunk. And as you see, Tyson Chandler learned from his mistakes. He didn't want to jump, so he just went in and played some weak defense. But again, I got the slower Jason Kidd on me. A nice post to the spin and get a nice windmill on the baseline. Trying to backpack my team in the fourth quarter. And if you don't know what backpack your team is, that means put the team on your back. I would assume that you guys would know that. But anyways, like I said, trying to win this game in New York City. But they got the double team. I see Roger Mason wide open. That's not happening. I don't pass it to Roger Mason. I hate that bum. <laughs> but anyways, it's a two-point game. I knew they would go to Melo. Roger Mason gets drained in his face. But for the win, Kyle Washington throws it up. Let's go. He walked out of New York City with a win. They throw a four-course shot up. Doesn't go. But I want to thank everybody for watching the video. Hope you guys are enjoying the sports commentator match madness. And I messed that all up. <laughs> I'm out. Peace. Kyle, did you guys win this one or did the Knicks lose this? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Man, I'm out, man. Y'all niggas tripping. They said my career was over. They called me old as fuck. They said I was a traitor leaving the Celtics. Kim Garnett's big black ass spit on my ass. But know what? I'm so pissed off, I'm looking to go kick their ass. So I'm about to head over to Boston and it's on. For real. From just a bit earlier, what a moment to see right there. NBA Commissioner David Stern in the presentation of the championship ring. All right, so what is up, guys? Legend EA, and you guys know I was voted into the Sports Commentator March Madness competition. It feels pretty good. Uh, and in this commentary, I'm bringing out some Rhode Island uh, creating legend. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the gameplay every once in a while. And I really want you guys to know me, like know my personality and who I am. So as you guys know from the intro, Raylan does have a little vendetta against the Celtics, especially Kevin Garnett. Matter of fact, when he was leaving and signed with the Miami Heat, he went to all of his teammates and he said goodbye. And this black mother, you know what, I'm not going to say it, Kevin Garnett's black ass had the nervous spit on him and call him a freaking traitor. So, this is a very, very personal game. 
as he's a little up and under. I know that's kind of cheese, but just like in real basketball, you can't fall for all that. So LeBron passing the ball, and I'm open. I'm not really open, but I hit the three. And uh, Paul Pierce is I'm sorry for messing him right there. Paul, Paul Pierce got it. He got it. He, who I found LeBron, and he dunks on Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce, you just got bitched. LeBron showing off his vertical, 30.6 inches, and he hangs on the. Who? I was you, man. <laughs> Look at the little floater right there. I'm telling you, playing as Rayland is kind of fun. Rayland is. One of my favorite basketball players of all time. I've always liked his game. Not just because he can shoot the ball. I mean, the first time I ever seen him was in the movie. He got game and, like, I don't know. I thought he would play like that in real life and he turns to be kind of better. But yeah, I want you guys to know a little bit about me. Uh, I played a little bit of basketball in middle school. I was in the summer league team. As a matter of fact, I started shooting guard. But now I'm in high school. I'm a freshman, matter of fact. And football is my life, man. Like, I made freshman A team, and now I'm about to be on JV Blue, I mean JV A team, or varsity next year when I'm a sophomore. So, it feels pretty good. Matter of fact, I just came back from Nike Spark Combines, and I ran my fastest time of 4.7. I was pretty proud of it. Uh, before that, the max I've ever gotten was a 4.8, and now I ran a 4.7, so that felt pretty good. I mean, I'm getting better and better every single day, so by next year, think of what my 40 can be. Ooh, I was pretty pissed off at Dwayne Wade when that happened. So right now, Boston's up by three, and Ray Allen's pretty pissed. Wade, what the fuck is he doing? Oh my goodness. Give me the damn ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball, fool. What you doing? What's up? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How y'all like that, you punk-ass niggas from Boston? How y'all like that? This is South Beach, boy. This is South Beach. Let's go, LeBron. Loving me. Let's get this thing popping right here. Y'all doing a little, that little review. Oh, y'all hoeing me like that? Y'all, but oh my goodness, y'all about to hoe me like that? All right, <laughs> can't believe that just, that just happened to me. Can't believe that. So we end up losing by three. That boy said, "Hell not." Nah. <laughs> Shot clock violation. Man, that felt pretty good. We almost came away with the win, but we didn't. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And come over to my channel and see what I got over there. I got uh, my career and some Korean Legend series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it's Legendary EA Sonic right here. And I hope you guys liked it in both of my videos. See y'all later. And peace.